we are going to talk about how you can develop your book characters. Creating a book character for children can be a fun and rewarding experience. Here are some tips on how to create and develop a character that will engage and resonate with readers. Start with a basic idea. Think about the type of character you want to create. What age are they? What are their interests? What challenges do they face? Having a basic idea will help you to flesh out your character. In the magical land of Enchanted Wood, there's a young elf named Delara. She's about 150 years old but looks like a teenager. Delara loves exploring the fantastic forest of Arlinda and finding hidden magical surprises. Her biggest challenge is using her special magic powers to protect her forest home from something spooky. Develop a backstory. Every character has a backstory that shapes who they are. Think about your character's family, friends, and experiences that have influenced them. This will help you to create a more well-rounded and relatable character. Ilara was found as a baby in the forest and raised by a wise old tree named Sylvan. Sylvan taught her all about the forest's secrets and its magical spells. Because of her tree upbringing, Ilara became a guardian of the forest, like a nature superhero. Give them a unique personality. A great character should have a distinct personality that sets them apart from other characters. Think about their quirks, strengths, and weaknesses. What makes them unique? Ilara can talk to animals and make plants grow super fast with her magic. She's a kind and caring elf, always helping her forest friends. Her power comes from her love for the forest, but sometimes she worries too much and acts in a hurry. Use descriptive language. When introducing your character, use descriptive language to help children visualize what they look like. Include details about their appearance, such as hair and eye color, as well as their clothing and accessories. Ilara's eyes are the color of shiny green leaves, and her hair looks like it's made of vines and flowers. She wears a special cloak woven from spider silk that lets her hide among the trees. Her fingers are like magic wands, making colorful flowers appear with a touch. Create a conflict. Every great story has a conflict that the characters must overcome. Think about what challenges your character will face and how they will overcome them. This will help to create a compelling and engaging story for children. Oh no! Something dark and spooky is creeping into Enchanted Wood, and it wants to cover everything with shadows. To stop this, Ilara has to go on a big adventure to find the Scroll of Lumina, a magical map that can send the shadows away. She'll meet tricky creatures and a naughty sorcerer who wants the scroll's power for bad things. Test your character. Once you have created your character, test them out by writing a few scenes or dialogue exchanges. This will help you to see how your character interacts with other characters and how they respond to different situations. In one exciting part of the story, Ilara meets a chatty squirrel named Pippin. He knows where the scroll is but wants something in return, his lost acorn. Ilara has to use her friendly talk and patience to help Pippin. It shows how she cares for even the smallest creatures in her forest. Here is my dialogue. Are you ready? Then I will begin. In a magical forest filled with tall, wise trees and sparkling streams, there lived a brave young adventurer named Ilara. She was on a big, exciting quest to find something very special called the Scroll of Wisdom. This scroll had secrets about the forest's magic, and everyone wanted to find it, but it was hidden away. One sunny day, as Alara wandered deeper into the forest, she heard a cheerful voice chattering away. It was coming from a cute squirrel named Pippin, perched up high in a tree. Hi there little fella! Alara greeted Pippin with a friendly smile. Pippin, with his fluffy tail all wiggly, couldn't contain his excitement. Guess what Alara? I've got super exciting news! Ilara was curious and leaned closer. Exciting news? Tell me Pippin. I'm on a quest to find the scroll you know. Pippin leaned in closer, making it a big secret. I know where it is, but I need a tiny favor first. Ilara, always ready to help, said, sure Pippin. What do you need? Pippin made a big show of it, saying, I lost my most special acorn. It's the shiniest, crunchiest acorn ever. If you find it for me, I'll tell you where the scroll is. Ilara was thrilled. An acorn hunt. You've got a deal, Pippin. Can you give me a clue? 
Pippin thought really hard, tapping his tiny paw on his chin. Um, let me think. I was doing some squirrely flips near the babbling brook when I dropped it. Look around there. With a determined heart, Ilara set off on her acorn adventure. She checked under leaves, peeked into tree holes, and searched everywhere. It took a little while, but she never gave up. Finally, at the base of an old oak tree, she saw a glimmer of gold under some roots. With a happy shout, she found Pippin's shiny acorn. Pippin, she called out, rushing back to her new friend, I found your acorn. Pippin's eyes sparkled with joy as he got back his special acorn. You're the best Ilara. Now, about that squall. Pippin shared the squall's secret location with Ilara, and she was over the moon with happiness. She realized that being kind and helping even the tiniest forest friends was just as important as big adventures. It made the forest a magical place, not just because of its secrets, but because of the kindness shared among its creatures. So, what did you think of my test dialogue? Would you have written it in a different way? As the story goes on, Ilara will get braver and smarter, and we'll see how her forest adventures help her become a true hero of Enchanted Wood. It's a magical story just for kids who love exciting adventures and enchanted forests. Remember, creating a book character for children is a creative process. Don't be afraid to experiment and make changes as you go along. The most important thing is to create a character that people will connect with and enjoy reading about. Before you go, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to hit the notification bell to stay updated on our latest content. If you have found this video helpful, we invite you to check out our website where you will find lots of fun things. www.evelynwinters.co.uk Thanks, Thanks for, for watching! watching.